All right, we're going to get started. Um, this is uh, the first real stream we're going to be doing Shadow of the Erd Tree. Uh, let me just say, this uh, the stream was delayed uh, due to... Uh, <laughs> the delay for this stream is brought to you by AT&T uh, and their terrible internet service that they provide. Uh, because, yeah, I, I haven't had internet here. Uh, for like two plus weeks, nearing three weeks. So our, our last stream was three weeks ago. Um, I, I was able to like get the character uh, that I did a little bit of messing around with uh, last stream, like fully through the game, basically, just like up to the final boss. Um, didn't kill Moog yet, so that's our uh, first objective uh, today. Is Moog. Um, and then we're going to get right into just the DLC. Um, and, and I have some things I want to do, because I, I really want to... Our lad is still naked, as you can see. Um, so I would like to get our, our man some clothing. But instead of clothing, we're going to be doing a transformation, which is using the rock heart. So, um, yeah, I have a list of stuff that we have to do to get that today. Uh, we have to fight a hippo. Do a few things. I, I think that I set up my physic to have the correct thing in it. Is there a way to ch check which physic flask you have equipped? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's the one. Purifies the Lord of Blood's curse. Yeah, so I have not um, attempted this yet at all. So we're going to do our, our buffs. go. Moog's not too bad, to be honest. Um, we'll let the cutscene play out. I I was really enjoying playing this game and like getting ready uh, for this stream and everything. And then, uh, like, of course, the day that I was ready to start streaming was when the internet died. <laughs> Which is just, you know, that's just how that stuff goes. Um, yeah, now that I know the lore about all of this, um, where, like, Mikola tricked Moog into all of this business, um, in order to use his corpse, uh, for her consort. It's pretty, pretty messed up, man. The, the lore for these games is always crazy. Um, at least there's no, like, giant snake vor in this one, as there is in Dark Souls 1. I mean, maybe, I guess there is, if Rikard eats you. Um... I, do we get to see the, the like cloth physics reset? Yeah, every time the camera angle changes, the cloth physics on the Dearest clothing just like. You. <sighs> Poor Moog. He's under a spell. Alone a it's not going to stop me from beating his ass, but. <laughs> Once you see that, it's just I. I always see that now. It was particularly egregious. Of our um, dynasty. With, like, Sister Freed. Yeah, I'll talk over Moog. I don't care. Okay, so I, I guess we're gonna wanna do some roaring on our lad Moog. Alright, scream? Oh, not scream? Okay, hang on. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna hit me. Man, I suck at this fight, so this might take a while. There we go. Sit. Bite him. Oh yeah, I guess that's good damage, though. Oh, I'm out of juice. Let's hit him with the claw. Okay. I can kind of just, um, like, sip through all this. I want to get as much maw damage in as I can, though. That should hit, right? Just do another. You can just fucking poise through all that. Oh, that was the wrong flask. Get another bite in. Yeah, the knee heal does way less damage because I have the correct um, physic flask. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to do phase two. This is awful. 
going to do so much damage now. Alright. God, it's really loud in my ears. This always happens. I, like, set the audio for outside of a boss fight. And then I go in a boss fight and it's just really scuffed. Oh no. Well, that's all the maw we get to do, unfortunately. For a first attempt, this is... What the hell? Not that the worst. Not the best, either. Okay, don't die. This is our last little buff here. Oh god, I'm doing very little damage. My regular-ass weapon. This should still be doable. I mean, this fight is a little silly. Oh damn, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is it. Cheap! God damn. Okay. I feel like I can skip phase two if I'm just a little less stupid. Um, and we just spam Dragon Maw after getting the Scream off. I feel like it's very doable. Um... I, I was kind of hoping I was going to get it on the first try, because that would have been sick, but... <laughs> I, I honestly couldn't expect that. I haven't played this game in, like, uh, maybe a week. I was, I was kind of just doing extra getting ready stuff, getting more levels in. Um, at, like, after I realized I wasn't going to have internet for a while. Okay, I pressed the roll button, but it's fine. Alright. Fight him! Oh my god, that is insane damage. Oh, I'm out of juice. Oh, he does both. That sucks. Okay, not my best start. I guess I did better than the last time. Alright, my friend. Oh, the delays, man. I haven't played this game in a while. I'm still getting blood loss put up here. I'm, I was like nowhere near. Oh man. Okay. We'll just munch him a few times while he's doing this. He does still get the heal off, unfortunately. First one did like 5,000 damage. Come on, there we go. Sip. Face here, sip blue juice. Oh, I had my weapon two handed. Okay, I feel like if I get another good fight off here, be very close. Oh my god, and that's just that. What do you mean the boss is hard? That was a really scuffed attempt, too. Um. I don't have any, uh, foul foot, do I? Uh, it's a, I'm, like, way too slow on it anyway. I, I did have one. Well, that's fine. We still get 420k. That's, like, a huge amount. Uh, I feel like what I want now is endurance, to be honest. Get two endurance and go up to 50 arcane. Yeah, I am at level 140, which is, like, a little higher than I think most players get um, for for the start of this, but I, I wanted to just have enough health and, and stuff. And, and because I'm, I'm using, like, a, a dex strength weapon, uh, which, it like, thematically goes with my character, but it doesn't stat-wise go with my character. Like, I, I like the idea of using the Dragon Halberd for this build, even though there are maybe arcane weapons that would make more sense to use here. I wanted to be able to one-hand it. Oh, Leta, can I just kill you here? <laughs> this character is an asshole. Ah. Were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Not Leda. really. And like you, I was guided by touch yeah, the yeah, sure. to the realm of Shat. My compatriots are there. like us. 
if you can find them. And um, I found out if you want to not have to fight a really annoying NPC later on, uh, who uses a great shield and throws rot pots at you, um, you have to tell a seemingly nice character to remain sad forever, which is just like pretty screwed up. But we're gonna do it. I don't care. Okay, so we made it to the DLC. Good God, Moog done. One thing on the checklist. So yeah, uh, in order to get the rock heart, first we want to grab some some uh, shadow fragments, and then we're gonna fight a hippo. Um, so we're we're gonna roam around a little bit. God, I I really do love this DLC. Just like oh, this moment, like getting here out at the start. This was was so so much a very first playthrough of it. I, di I didn't realize I could stream on the PS5, so... Um, I think, yeah, we should probably grab that, and then I know there's, like, a Skidoo fragment over here, and I said Skidoo. I, I've been meaning to try to say Shadow. Um, yeah, I think that's a hard-ass enemy up there on top of that thing. Yeah, it's, it's one of the Cursed Blades. How do you feel like... Getting Dragon Mod Curse Blade. My god, that does a lot of damage. Fight! Oh, it, it actually hit. I was certain that was gonna miss. Nice. Hey, pot noodles. It's been, like, truly forever since my last stream, so thanks thanks for catching this stream. I appreciate it. Um, we're, we're finally here. It's Shadow of the Erd Tree. Uh, you missed a pretty goofy Moog kill where we just bit his ass with Dragon Maw. I have no idea if that spell's gonna be anywhere near as effective on the bosses here. Um, but... Uh, yeah, this is a Revered Spirit Ash, right? And then there's, like, a Shadow Fragment over here. Oh, that's alright, man. I, I just appreciate you coming in the stream and saying hi. Um, we could also grab the Backhand Blades, which are just good. Um, it doesn't really fit the, like, theme I have of the build here, but... Um, if I want to just... If I, I get tired of using the poking weapon. Like, it is good. Um, piercing damage is, like, the best damage type in the game. Um, yeah, always got work tomorrow. It's, that sucks, man. Um, but, you know, I, uh, appreciate you making it out to the stream anyway. Um, yeah, I, I remember in, uh, in, like, my sophomore year of college, I worked at this, uh, like, little pizzeria, and... I had to get there at 7 a.m. to, um, like, take in the, uh, the, like, stuff and put it in the freezer. And, like, <laughs> waking up at, like, 6 to go, like, touch cold stuff uh, very early in the morning was not, not my favorite experience, I gotta say. So, I, I feel you with the having to get up early. Alright, dogs. Oh god, don't die. Oh. There we go. Death one. <laughs> Shadow of the Earth Tree was to a dog. Uh, am I surprised? No. Am I disappointed? Uh, a little. <laughs> That's fine, though. No. Uh, we did get our first uh, Shadow Fragment. Oh, nice nice loading in there. Um, I guess I do want to go get the like 40,000... Um, runes that we left over there. But I, I think I also just, like, didn't touch a grace that I was pretty close to. Um, you see that tower just there? Like, just where my character's head is? I actually, um, in my first playthrough, I managed to find a way all the way up to the top of that tower, like, kind of janky on torrent. And, um, I was quite sure that it was gonna be something cool. I and mean, then there was just nothing there. Like, it's possible to get up there. It's it's really, like, annoying and difficult. Because um, you have to do, like, these weird, precise double jumps. 
um, like around the outside. You see, you see how it's a spiral. But yeah, just nothing there. Like, completely not worth the effort. I guess I'll grab this, um, oh, another dog. <laughs> I'll grab this, uh, talisman, um, that is in this ruin. Oh, that's not the way up. Um, I think it could potentially be good a little later on. Um, but yeah, I don't have any direct plans to use it. Oh, my mini stream viewer froze. I hope that doesn't mean the stream itself is dying. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. Is this the cracked pot? Oh, and I, I can see my runes over there. That is not the cracked pot. That is just some mushrooms. Where is it? I feel like it's nearby. Oh, there we go. That could be it. The little, like, sprite for the item did something funny there. And I feel like there's, like, a recipe right here, too, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, some of those cracked pots are going to be very useful later on for fighting the furnace golems. Um, making it not take 10,000 years to fight them. Um, I guess I could go fight Loger. Uh, there's a <laughs> funny little Wolverine reference over here in the, uh, in the forest, which I did not catch on my first time. I, I happened to find out about that from a Vati video video, which, I mean, sure. His videos definitely used to be, like, a bit more popular, I feel like. Um, I think they're still good. Maybe I'm not really sure why. Where is Loger at? I know he's in this forest somewhere, just hanging around. Um, is it up here? He has like a relatively small aggro radius too, so you have to get like right on top of him. One of my favorite things in the, the DLC is the goofy, huge lightning rams. Oh, what? Bird noises? Okay. Uh... I'm excited to die to the giant lightning rams um, a little later on in the stream. Loger, where are you? Oh, there he is. He's just wandering around. So I wonder if Dragon Maw just cheeses all NPCs, or if it's just the ones in the base game. No, it, it, it certainly seems like it's effective uh, just in general. Oh god, if he doesn't kill me. <laughs> You're out of sips, my friend. They just don't roll it. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. So that's the answer to NPCs, I guess. Very cool. Um... What the hell was that? Bird again? I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I, I can't remember if there's another Shadow Fragment over here, but we can get the, um the, like, guard counter hammer, uh, which is pretty good. I, um, I used it for my, like, most recent playthrough. I feel like there is a fragment, right? That must be this. Yeah. Alright, let's play him. We're gonna be hearing a lot of that, uh, sound. <laughs> in the, the coming streams, it is just, it's so good, I, I can't help uh, but use it. I got pants! Incredible. Um, I don't know if there's anything else back here. Is this the cave that has the, the like, full heal in it? Nice. Very good. Okay. Um, sweet, so that's, that's our first few shadow fragments. That's pretty good. Um, there's some more on, like, the opposite side of this area over by Bellaret. But yeah, we, we see, like, some really good returns on these first few shadow levels. Um, you get just, like, an incredible amount of uh, damage reduction and stuff. 
Yeah, if I remember correctly, these mesmeric soldiers are a huge pain in the ass to fight. Oh, I wanted the... Oh, well, I... so much for looking at that message. Um, I don't know why I thought I wasn't going to be able to see the message, uh, unless I didn't break the table. These things are cool. Yeah. That's very satisfying. It's like the metal pipe sound uh, goes off when you break them, too. Uh, I guess we'll just TP back over here. There is the Black Jail Knight that I could attempt to fight, but I feel like he's going to kick my ass. I do think the, um... What'd you call it? Uh, the Dragon Maw is just, like, really good against NPCs, so I might have a decent chance of fighting him, but I don't really care about the drops that he gives anyway, so I'm not gonna, like, be too concerned. Let's try to just give the Furnace Golem a wide berth here. He does give a really good Crystal Tier. Um, yeah, the Deflect Tier is just absolutely busted. I don't know what they were thinking. They were like, let's just make the... Uh, it, like, it stacks with Royal Knight's Resolve, too. You can just do a ton of damage. More Scadu, very nice. Fight. Let's talk to Hornsent. Treading the heels of Mikela. Then, I like this guy. Would surely say, we are in our purposes well aligned, but understand. Your kind are not forgiven. The Earth Tree is my people's enemy. Yeah. America long betrayed. Yeah, America sucks, Set dude. Flame. I hear you. I believe Mikela's apologies. When but never will. It, I, I like how there's like depth to the story here as well, where you find out that like the people that get put in pots. Ah, but they're still cool. Lady I don't know. spoke of you. You're that tarnished, guided here by kindly Mikela. Won't we all? I am Freya. In battle, you could... Sure, Freya, that's fine. Um, I had a cat named Freya, and she was an absolute asshole, I gotta say. <laughs> um, yeah, it turns out if you name your cat after, like, the Norse god of war, you're gonna get a cat who believes it's the god of war. That's really not surprising at all. It's like naming a dog Kratos. Like, it's, it's gonna beat the shit out of you, right? Um... Yeah, so I, th I think if we complete Hornsense questline as well, then we don't have to do, um... Like, it makes an NPC fight later on much easier. We don't have to fight him. So we want to summon him during a boss fight later on, and then he'll invade and we kill him, and then... We won't have to have him in a, in a boss fight, which is very nice. Um, and we're also gonna do the, the requisite uh, steps for Morn. I, I think that's his name? There's an NPC over here as well. They really just sprinkled those dogs everywhere in this area, huh? More fragments, very nice. You must be the tarnished. I am Ansbach. I like this guy too. Formerly in service. He's like, oh you killed Moog? I don't care. Like you, another I'm hardy the steady hand I once was. My fighting days are far behind. I also me, like his helm. Which is why really I've cool. chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. To discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of you. Hello there. Together we work. Together. For Mikola the kind. I recognize new that things. voice actor too. I feel like we he does found. something else in these games. Let's see. Um, there's something related with TLEA. Not with this guy as well. Yeah, I already know what the deal is with the Spirit Springs as well. I guess I could buy the Rune Arcs off this guy, but um, I, th I think we're okay. Um, I find that I don't tend to use the Rune Arcs all that much. It is like a huge boon of... Um, health, but it's really more useful, um, like when you're, uh, like exploring a level than fighting a boss, I find. Um, so we'll come back to these guys in a little bit. I could go up into Bellarat, but for now, I'm gonna head, uh, this way.
Because I think there's there's more fragments and stuff over here. There's a cool weapon as well uh, in the Pata, which I used a little bit on my uh, first playthrough. Um, it's just a fist weapon that ha doesn't have really shit range, and it, it does really good damage. So, just generally quite good. Okay, smithing three. They, they did dump a, a whole lot of the regular smithing stones around here, which I kind of like. It um, like A lot of people were upset by that, like they felt like most of the pickups are just smithing stones. But, um, I don't know, it, it opens up opportunities for runners to do like challenge runs and stuff where you like start with a character uh, just in the DLC and then collect the upgrade materials here instead of having to do a whole bunch of like running around in the... In the um, base game, but um, unfortunately that only works on uh, PC, where you can kind of use mods to get your character all set up. Um, here on the PlayStation, I do have to actually play through the whole game, um, like to get the golden seeds and everything. Um, I want to say there's another pot guy. Yeah, there he is. How did you give me a golden horn tender? Does that sound good? Silver horn tender, that is less useful. Well, that's fine. We still got the fragment from him. Um oh, hello. Alright. Uh do I care about this place? I think there's a a pot on the wall there. Yeah. I don't think it's the most useful. I mean I, I think if I get a few of these, it allows me to like do something with Morn. I don't even know if I have a bow, to be honest. Um, I have a crossbow that I am too stupid to use. Oh, good. That would have been a really funny way to die. Um, okay, well, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about trying to get the pot. It'll take me forever to just, like, throw throwing knives at it. Um, yeah, I don't remember what talisman it is that's in this little town. Um, but I guess I'll just go and grab it while we're here. Uh, it, it is funny, um, my first playthrough of this, I got a Blood Fiend's arm really early on, and I was like, oh, that probably sucks. I'm not gonna try to use that. And then it turns out it's, like, the most busted thing that they've ever put in one of these games. Um, it's like the, the overcooked chicken wing <laughs> item is, is the, like, strongest like, strength weapon in the game. It's very funny. That's like, I mean, anything that's like bleed-based is just gonna be obscene, right? Most of the time. I, I guess the Blood Fiend's fork is actually pretty bad, though. Oh, I think that raises our arcane. That's alright. I mean, just a flat bonus to arcane is not like the best thing in the world. That's fine. Um, let's give you a whack on the way by. Just to do it, I guess. Where did I come from this way? Yeah, not the best at navigating through these areas. Because um, I've only done it a few times. Please don't kill me, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been playing this game for literal years now, and I still have practically no sense for the height that you take fall damage in this game. Oh, hello. Thank you for the cookbook. Um, those forage brood, I think that's actually the thing that, that is associated with Morn's questline. See, I made the mistake of trying to fight these giant um, lightning rams um, on my first playthrough. If I think if you just don't attack them, they leave you alone. Which, I mean, I could be wrong. The, the little ones will attack. And there's just a big rat here for some reason. What is this path? I feel like I didn't find this. Oh, this is this is just like the other way through here. I think if I go up top, it gives us like the drop on another one of those curse blade guys, um, which I definitely want because they are tough enemies. 
Um, yeah, I, I finally recently, um, fully, uh, that I finally kind of recently understood, and it's, it's this, it's the Spear Talisman. It says, Encan enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. So it's, it's not like specifically, uh, certain types of weapons. It's like any thrusting type damage that a weapon can do. So like some katanas have like a heavy attack that's a poke, and like even the, um, what do you call it? The Claymore has, like, a heavy attack that's a poke. So that's a thrusting uh, move. So, like, this will boost that. And it, it gives you additional damage to... Um... You know what? I probably want to change this out while we're here. Does that still... Yeah, I'm still light load. That's very good. Um... We're taking a lot of damage here uh, without any clothes on. So I, I want to make sure I have that great shield talisman on here in the DLC where everything hits like a truck. Um, yeah, so uh, the, the counter hits happen whenever um, uh, you hit an enemy mid-attack. Alright, guys. Oh, this bear actually has health. What the hell? They're just like basic creatures don't usually have that much health, I gotta say. Um, yeah, but there's the curse blade guy. I don't, I don't know. Am I gonna, like, die of fall damage? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm really far from a grace, too. Um. Yeah, so, so like, uh, it turns out that the spear talisman is really good with, um, this poking attack that I have on this, and if I happen to be swinging like while an enemy is doing an attack animation, then I get like a huge boost in damage. Oh, I forgot this, um, spear dash? When I came through here? Yeah, I did. So that's worth grabbing as well. It's not the end of the world that I died. Um. Yeah. It, in summary, poking weapons good weapons with poking attacks, good uh, a lot of the time that you're fighting enemies, they're going to be like attacking you, right? So it's especially good with um, like the guard counter kind of uh, moveset because like, you know, inherently enemies will be in an attack animation if you're trying to do a guard counter. So like using the deflect tier, oh shit is that, oh that was nearly lethal fall damage, what am I doing? Um, yeah, deflect tier plus, like, uh, the, the weapon that you get from killing Commander Gaius, um, plus, like, what, you put, like, Royal Knight's Resolve on that thing? Okay, surely there's a way to fall here and not take lethal damage? I probably left a Bloodstain here as well, like, a complete fool. Let's, um, give ourselves a bit of a golden vow. Maybe some flame, too. These guys are, are bastards. At least they have relatively low poise. I want to get that um, transformation sooner than later so that I can um, have actually some defense. It's only 10%, so the talisman I put on is literally twice as effective. Oh my god, just... Okay, well, I have no idea when it happened, but my stream just, like, ate it for no reason. Um... 37 minutes, yeah, uh, like five minutes ago, my stream just like ate it for seemingly no reason. I I was just talking about piercing damage or whatever, I don't know, it's probably fine. I'll, I'll edit the VOD together, but it's going to make it a lot more annoying to upload. Um, I'm going to have to render out the whole thing once I edit together. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. 
that happens. It, it must just be like internet problems, but it's, it's a little frustrating because on the PlayStation it doesn't actually show me that like the stream has failed. It like the stream something's going weird. Feel free to like leave a message um, like if, if we're freezing or anything. Um, I would be a little frustrated if we got new internet and it's like not nearly good enough to stream with. Um, uh, give you the benefit of the doubt. Welcome to the stream. I don't think that talisman is terribly useful, to be honest. Um, I do think that there's a... something. Oh yeah, here's the Revered Spear Dash. Alright. It's gonna be nice, because Torrent just ends up taking so much damage um, from stuff early on here in the DLC. Um, I, I like the idea of, of adding, like, items that boost Torrent. Um, does even, if you, if you do, like, Morn's full quest line, I think there's, like, something else that you can get. Ah, oh, that's just a cookbook. Well, that's still worth having, I guess. Um, yeah, but there's, like, you can get a, a recipe for a new type of berry that, like, gives Torrent a charging attack, which does, like, functionally no damage, and is, like, by all accounts, seemingly utterly useless, which is a little sad, to be honest. Is this Gravebird armor piece? I feel like it is. Oh, nice. This is the, the one that gives you, like, jumping attack bonus, huh? Very cool. Uh, that is definitely worth having. <clears throat> it's not super in the theme that we've got going on here, but whatever. I do eventually want to do all these caves and stuff on stream, but um, I don't think I'm going to do it just now. This is where the painter is, right? It feels right. Oh, it's a little over this way, maybe? Hmm. Oh, that, no, I was right the first time. Okay, classic. So this shield is super good against um, <clears throat> a boss that was featured widely in the trailer. Oh, I can feel my voice going. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a second to take a drink here. Yeah, not sure why my, um, I talk just a lot in my day-to-day -day life, but my voice doesn't seem to go. When I'm streaming, it's it's just like, <clears throat> boom, 40 minutes into the stream, my, my voice is just completely cooked. Um, I guess we could give the dragon a single attempt, but I don't think it's going to go too well, to be honest. This guy does a lot of damage. I kind of want to get more fragments first. Yeah, let's um head across this bridge and do some stuff over here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just happy to be finally playing um, Shadow of the Earth Tree on stream. Um, it is a good time. Yeah, I, I find, like, I used to be able to play games for, like, really extended periods and kind of, like, not have any trouble at all. And, uh, in, in recent times, like, in the last year or so, it's like my eyes get really itchy and red if I play games for too long. Um, and I, is it just that I don't blink? Like, I feel like that would be very stupid if that's the reason, but it's, it's certainly possible. Shadow level four. And that's that's all those upgrades that I got. Nice. I don't have an uneven number of them. I want to say there's like a unique weapon, like one of the um, 
perfumer bottles around, but they, they're kind of crap, to be honest. I, like, the movesets are really slow, which is kind of sad, because they're very cool. Um, but I guess they didn't want to make them, like, overpowered, which I think I hear, but making them, like, really shit is not a solution to that. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, I'll, I remember being kind of annoyed, like, I, I thoroughly explored, like, these whole tented areas, um, on my first playthrough, and they're just mostly very empty. Like, um, there's kind of nothing in all the tents. Where the hell is the perfume bottle? Looking for it? That guy. Smack. I think left is the way to go. Um... If we're looking for the path to the Cerulean... There's something. What is this? Glove wart! Okay, thank you. I think I do want to try to get um, the, like, crazy um, spirit summon for help with the final boss as well. Um, because he's a, a bit of a bastard, uh, isn't he? I almost forgot about this uh, shadow fragment that's over here. Um... Yeah, from my like little mini viewer, it looks like my stream is is looking like like absolute dog shit. I hope that's not the case. There's not a whole lot I can do about it now. Uh, if it is, um... oh, hello there. Are you the tarnished lady? Let us spoke to you. Another tarnished. My name is Tiolia. Hi, Tiolia. I am so. Here's to new big. Um. Well, I'm not. I'm as weak as I've always been. I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry. You've got some stuff. I mean, I guess, yeah, the deadly poison perfume bottle is... I don't know. I'll, I'll get it. It might be worth having. Um, and I think now that we've talked to Tialia, we can go and talk to Morn, which gives us access to something. Yeah, this was actually not the way to go. It's down here. Um... But yeah, who knows if I can actually remember the path to the Fort of Reprimand. I, um... I, like, I think I know where I'm going. And then I'm I'm just, like, completely wrong. Like, quite constantly. It's, it's <laughs> I don't know if it would be frustrating for the viewer or funny. Uh, probably somewhere in between. Um... But yeah, that's just the experience. For me, kind of bumbling around. I it's funny. I I tend to miss certain encounters as well because my like first instinct is to kind of go around and um, like try to find side paths and stuff uh, instead of just like going straight down the like intended route. Um, It is a pretty funny reason to like miss encounters because you don't go on the road. Instead, you like go around the edge on the on the cliff's edge, and then there's just nothing there. Yeah, actually, I think this is the the way to the Fort of Reprimand. Where is? I think there's an another path over here somewhere uh, that takes us to the Cerulean Coast. Uh, which is also worth doing at some point for the map piece. We're going to head over this way for now. I want to say there's also yeah, this little hut. I, I definitely like this, like, sealed spirit spring mechanic that they added as well. Kind of weird quirk that somebody figured out is you can use the, the like, Margit's Shackle, or Moog's Shackle. Uh, maybe both of them, maybe just one, I don't know. Um, that talisman's quite good, by the way. You, you, can, you can use the, the Shackle to break the, um, the seal on the Spirit's Brain. So what, <laughs> where actually is the path to, uh, down, down in this trench? I, I want to say it's down here, and then you, like make a right instead of the way that I went. Um, we are quite far from, like, a 
uh, sight of grace over here, but that's fine. We just do it later. Oh, weird tree jank. And up we go. I don't think this spirit's spring is sealed, right? No. Yeah, so a lot of people were kind of upset because they spent ages um, fighting uh, Renala, trying to find their way onto uh, Shadow Altus. And you can just, um, you can just take the goofy little spirit spring. Um, we're gonna just ignore the omen killer for the time being. There is a an 80k rune pickup in this fort as well, which might be worth grabbing while we're here. Um, four smithing eights. If we were in the base game, that would be like an insane pickup. But it's it's not that crazy here. Oh, you chase, huh? Well, that's fun. I think this is the way to go. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Aggroing all of the guys. Don't mind me, lads. This is a lot of enemies. Okay. Well. Where was that ladder? Here. Up. Quickly! Jesus. Dying to just a huge crowd of basic enemies would be a pretty funny way to go. Not gonna lie. Oh no. Okay, that's one down. Dashing R2 is just really good against a lot of enemies in this game, I've found. On most weapons. Alright, that might be enough to get me up the ladder. I don't know why I came down here. This was a terrible place to be. Um... <laughs> There's like a pit that I want to be in, but this is not it. I just may as well just grab all the stuff while we're here. And this was supposed to be like a really well-focused stream where I like knew where I was going. And I had a plan for what items I wanted to pick up. Ah, this is the pit. That rune's pretty nice. This one over here is the real good one. All right, friend. Okay. I'll just leave him to... <laughs> whatever the hell he's doing over there. Oh, I'm still technically in the fort, huh? I was expecting to be able to summon my horse, but no. Alright, well, that was a bit silly, but I managed to get the pickup uh, for the runes. This area is like a little bit bigger than I remember it being. Um, I think there might be a boss here, which I kind of don't want to fight right now. Oh, this is just a dead end. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. Just sort of bumbling around is, is the way that I do it. Um, it looks like we got a, a follower at some point during this stream. Oh, yeah, there's the boss. That is fine. I am just going to let him do his thing. Oh, this is where we dropped down from, huh? Um, where the hell is the exit of the fort? Um, and it might be able to just drop down over here. Oh no, that is a lethal fall for sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't have my, like, funny, like, Lego Yoda death sound, um, 
follower uh, sound, because uh, I'm obviously not on the PC. Um, I do appreciate it. Might one day actually manage to get to affiliate on here. That would be kind of fun. For once, I actually didn't get caught out by the triple slam from the Omen Killer. Alright. I think I know the location of a few more Shadow Fragments here. Um... And then we're we're gonna try to give the, the hippo a go. Uh, I might want to try to do some NPC stuff first. I might want to talk to Morn, tell him to remain sad forever, actually, before we get too close to the um, shadow keep, so that we don't have to deal with his nonsense. Uh, I might need like, do I have a warming stone? my inventory? I do. There's a, um... Like a little bug guy uh, that I need to... <laughs> um, heal with the warming stone. I really hope you can't hear the incredibly loud honking sound. Um, there is a guy trying to sell food out there. Um... I'm not going to shut the window, because if I do, it will just get incredibly hot in here. Um, I actually does sell some good food, but it's just always at the most inconvenient time. Like, I'll be laying down for a nap, and then all of a sudden, it's just like honk, honk, honk. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, another shadow fragment over here. <laughs> Hornstone's going to be like, damn, you found a lot of those crosses, man. That's... that's kind of weird. Oh yeah, I guess we could go fight Dane. Should we... should we Dane to... <laughs> it's terrible. I should be killed for that pun. Hello again. Did you meet my computer? Quite the com... Doubtless yeah, yeah, yeah. Com were it not for the this... the work. Sure. Um... You have a knack for timing, my fellow. I found the site of a new cross. Sure, thanks, bud. Um, let's see. I think I want to... Put that back on. And then we'll head back over to Dane. May as well do this while we're here. I might have another, um... Shadow level that I can activate here. Let's see. Looks like it. Very nice. Um, and then if we do this... Oh, do I have to be right in front of him? Hey, Dane! Mm. There we go. I was gonna say, if just nothing continues to happen, that would be pretty funny. I have spells? I guess I remembered that. Yeah, so we actually got the, the like piercing attack bonus damage there on that stab. It's pretty nice. I think this gives us access to what, like the dry leaf arts? Which is, again, not like the best, but it's kind of cool. Um, I think we get Dane's footwork a little later on. Yeah. Very nice. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, we definitely want to grab the map piece. We'll, we'll take a rest here just to get our, like, health and flasks back and stuff. Alright, we'll try to use the warming stone on the little bug lead. Um, and we'll go talk to Morn. Uh, maybe Tielie? Um. And then we can, um. Head to the Shadow Keep. And we shouldn't be punished too hard for it. I. There's, like, other stuff you can do. 
um, that it, it locks you out of, but I'm not too worried about it. A lot of the NPC questline stuff is very optional, but I am interested in making the um, like NPC fight later on much easier. I think this, this is an invader moment, right? Yeah. I think this is Queeline. Those stripped of the grace of gold shall all meet death in the embrace of Mesmer's flame. Hey, I remember that line. You're like the second coolest guy to say that. Your boss definitely delivers the line a little bit better, friend. It is funny that he has the exact same line. I I've heard that line a lot of times. You hear it every time Mesmer kills you, so... Naturally, um... Oh, he got the heal off. <laughs> we spam the bite. Oh, I didn't have the stamina. Nice spear, bud. I like my spear better. Crusade insignia, huh? I think that's decent. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think right up over here somewhere is the bug that we have to heal. So let's try to do that. Um. Oh, right here. Oh, I was a bit off, but let's see. Warming stone? I don't think I need the better version that you get from the DLC. I think just a regular old warming stone works. Bonus points for healing me up as well. There we go. Now, do I have to, like, reset the area? <laughs> I might just do a quick relog because... I'm not super interested in running back from the grace. Isn't there a grace, like, right here, though? No, there isn't, is there? Because there's the, the um, like, furnace golem over there. I, I definitely do think I have to relog, though, so let's just do that real quick. Yeah, I'm a bit frustrated that the stream quietly died midway through again. It's like as soon as I stopped paying attention to my little, uh, like, stream viewer. Of course, it just, like, ate it. At least it wasn't, like, the whole, <laughs> like, run-through of half of Arch Dragon Peak again, like, during the Dark Souls 3 streams. Um, I think it was just, like, a pretty brief section. There we go. What? Are, is your head stuck underground? <laughs> is, is that a bug? Oh, the... the... What the fuck? That doesn't seem right. Uh, the, like, collision is different, too. Like, from the visual here, I'm, like, colliding with nothing. Okay, game. Sure. Alright, let's, uh, let's visit Morn. Real quick. Um... Yeah, I guess it might be worth heading to the Cerulean Coast before we take on the Hippo as well. Let's see. Welcome. Oh, give this to Teolia. He asked me to I fight. Nice. Okay, I think I have to do that. Anything. Oh, this the forager brood give Beth. Oh, nice. Many things. You have another talk dialogue? No. Okay, uh, sure. Well, I guess we'll we'll go give it to Tialia, and then we'll come back to more. I, th I think then he'll be ready to say, um... Like, ha have his little dialogue option where I can just tell him to be sad. Oh, I have to say it's wonderful. I don't think I could ever thank all after. Sure. Ah, uh, you two deserve our mix-ups. If you find yourself, sleep is a... I'm weary so? of life. Then take this. This concoction concocts the oldest for you, for all it. 
Yes, yeah, so you can give this to some NPCs at nighttime only, I think. But only before we enter the Shadow Keep, so. so uh... Not entirely sure that I want to do that. Um, but yeah, I think that was the thing that I had to do. Let me come and talk to Moore again. Or, or maybe that's after the, um, the Shadow Keep business. And the rune breaks. Let's see. Welcome. Yeah, nothing yet. Okay. Uh, sure. Um, let's see. What's our what's our shadow level? Five. I mean, yeah. I think this is enough to um to fight a hippo. Um, let's just go for it. Uh, there may be consequences to doing this. Um, we'll see. <laughs> not entirely the end of the world if I screw it up a little bit. I do have 87k runes, which is not even, like, nearly enough for a level, is it? I need 130 for a level up. Uh, if I use the other 80k, I'll end up, like, with 167. I'll still have 30k on me. Um, 87 plus 50 will also be too much. Let's just use these three and see where that puts me. Still not nearly enough, right? Uh, I need... 6k more. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I like to just go into a boss fight not carrying a huge pile of runes in general. Oh, I could do another one? Oh yeah. Shadow level 6 should certainly be good. Um... I think I want to keep pumping Arcane here, so that we can access Bale's, uh, spells, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure just, like, the hippo is right at the front of the Shadow Keep. It's gonna dodge all of these Black Knight guys. They're quite tough. I mean, uh, are any enemies tough when you have, uh, the Dragon Maw? Kind of no. It's just a one-size-fits-all uh, enemy flattener. Um, give me this shadow fragment. You want to do your stomp and kill everything? Oh, he's turning. Keep running. Ooh, what is this item? As soon as I stop paying attention to the furnace golem, he's going to do some fucked up stuff. I will try to pick up some items around here in the meantime. Yeah, how come all the tents back there are really empty and here they're full? I was pretty sure there was like a grace around here. Oh god. I don't see one though. We'll just... We'll just keep going. There's the great room breaking. Yeah, so the that's gonna change some NPC stuff. Um, yeah, that's alright for now. Uh, I, I think I should be okay to fight the hippo. You know, I didn't change out the physic uh, from the one that is specifically for Moog. Oh, well, there's a grace, so... That gives us an opportunity to do it. I don't know if I have a better... Um, we're at Shadow 7. Yeah, this should be definitely good. Um, I honestly, I think that, um, like, just the opaline bubble tier is really good in general. Just giving me an opportunity to just not take any damage for an attack. Um, yeah, let's buff up. I always forget to drink the physic first. Yeah, but if you can actually stack all the buffs, including the screen... Um, the Maul will just do insane damage. Thank you for knocking me out of that incredibly long end leg. Yeah. Like, 6k. That's super good. Oh, that is delayed. <laughs> 
Okay. I just panic rolled like three times in a row and, and got roll caught by a hippo. Um, yeah, that's generally the strat though. I, I set up the incantations in, in the order so that um, I can buff up and then scream and then just have it set to the maw for good damage. Uh, so we want a sippy. Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength. Roar. I guess I'll, I'll grab my runes while we're here. Oh, that... I thought you always did the same attack. Yeah, the one thing is the, the roar does not have uh, anywhere near as much, um, like, poise as, uh, the bite. Oh, that has fat AoE. Yeah, they did actually nerf that charge attack as well. It used to be much stronger. I think Flame Grant and Strength already wore off. The thing lasts, like, two seconds. Yeah, this incant is just stupid. I love it. Oh, nice. So much for having a, uh... Cool phase transition, bud. I wrecked it for you. Oh god, don't die. It's really just the poise on the, um, the Dragon Maw that is so stupid. Like, I, I really don't have to think much, do I? <laughs> just press the button and let him hit you. Alright. Thank you, Hippo, for not giving me that much trouble. He did, like, thoroughly rounce me uh, before. So we've got... Two more checks uh, on my list here. We got the Shadow Fragments. Uh, we're up to level 8 already, which is pretty sick. I think level 12 gives you, like, a huge amount of, um, like, bonus. Oh, I, I should probably level up, huh? Just throw it in Arcane again. Uh, yeah, so from here we have access to the Painting. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um... I'm just going to kind of tear ass through this level. Uh, it is pretty fun to like fight through every enemy, but uh, these Mesmer Spear guys are... All of them, actually. All of the Mesmer guys are hard. Yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're just going to run right past. Maybe grabbing this item. It's a mushroom. That's totally bait. Thank you, Miyazaki. I got baited by a mushroom, and it killed me. <laughs> the Congregation of Angry Men. Also known as a computer science classroom. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny joke. Uh, yeah, well, I did drop 76,000 runes. Um, hopefully not, like, right on the mushroom pickup. Because I'll, I'll get baited in the same way. Uh, if so. Okay, well, I didn't get stomped that time. And now it's not on the mushroom pickup. I have also died to fall damage in this area. It's, like, remarkably easy to do so. Oh, yeah, and there's two black knights in here. That are quite rude. Um... Let's see, I think I'm pretty close to the painting location. Might want to just grab the... What do you call it? Uh, shortcut. I think there's like NPC questline shit to do around here as well. You can either... Uh, like help Lita or help um, Hornscent. Of course I helped Hornscent on... Uh, my first playthrough, and it didn't seem to do anything at all <laughs> to the quests. Like, Horn Scent still, in, like, helps Lita fight me at the end, which is a little lame. You know what, guys? Why don't you just, um... Surrender, because I have, uh... the power of dragons on my side. Yeah. 
There we go. Alright. I do like the little vulgar militia guys. It's probably my favorite hat uh, that they added in the DLC. It's these new vulgar militia hats. Um, they have little glowing eyes. It's quite funny. Um, also, the backstab animation for these guys is hilarious. I'm really glad they added that. Um, why is this guy still potsing around over here? Let's see. Where... <laughs> if I can remember where to go. Um, where's that ladder? Oh, yep, thank you. Oh, I didn't see the other guy. Alright. Um, yeah, I should cleanse the poison, huh? I was pretty sure the ladder was just, like, right around here. Uh, oh, maybe it's off here to the right? I did not check over there yet. And it, it this would be a, a drop that kills you as well, I feel like. The game just likes to screw with you like that. Oh yeah, this this feels right. Oh, you got me. I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Quickly. Alright. Yeah, I feel like that's just like one unit um, high enough to kill you. Funny story, actually, there, there's an illusory wall uh, in this little area that I just completely missed on my first uh, playthrough of the game, and there was a whole area that it leads to that I just didn't have access to, and I was like, how the hell do I get to this entire section of the map that I've never been to? That's the painting we wanted. Yeah, and I missed the, the world's most obvious illusory wall. Um, so shame on me for that, and having to look that up. That is, like, a huge point of shame. Um... But it happens, yeah, so, so we don't have to come through here again. I will just get in the coffin. These cutscenes are all just the same, though, so I'll skip them for brevity's sake. We're just going to touch the grace out here. Um, and then we want to head towards um, the dragon area, I want to say. I think I want the Cerulean Coast map fragment first, which, how the hell do I, I think it's coming down this way, just so that I can see where I am. Yeah, so it turns out, like, there there were so many messages on the, like, Dragon Mountain area, um, uh, my first time through the game, where everyone was like, where the hell is the map, dude? And, yeah, it turns out it's not even in that zone at all, um... Let's see. Yeah, I, I could go up to this, like, tower as well. You get, like, an item up there. But, um, we'll have to run through this a little bit twice, I guess. Because, um... Yeah, we're headed to the Cerulean Coast, and then we're gonna go, um... The way to actually access the dragon area is up here, and then through a cave over there. The, the ways to... The, sort of zones connect are all really, like, well hidden in this DLC, which I honestly like. I, I was just complaining about, um, like, completely missing an illusory wall, <laughs> um, and, like, a huge swath of the game. Um, I feel like that's just part of the charm. Is this not the way? Wait a second. I... I do not think this is the way. Um... Okay, one moment. I was quite sure that the... the path to get down... there was somewhere from here. Hmm. I, I may have just, like, missed the turn. I, I missed my exit! Hang on. Back to the highway. Missed my exit, guys. Um, or am I just like fully wrong? 
Uh... Ah, yes. Yes, thank you, Blood Fiend. Thank you. Well... <laughs> Oops. Uh, maybe it's... You know, maybe it is this way. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with my gut. Um... And say I just have to hug the left here. Um, instead of heading towards the Spirit Spring. Um... But all of this just for a transformation, so we can finally actually become the, the Dragon Man. Uh, that has been the goal this entire playthrough. Um, but after after that, we'll we'll have like the build. So um, I feel like it totally is this way. I was just being silly. Um, there's like a pretty decent talisman around here as well. I think you can also get to this area from Castle Ensis. Uh, I, I could be wrong about that, but... Um... Oh, that was just a flower. Okay. A little weird the way they do, like, crafting items as... Or, yeah, crafting materials is just pickups uh, as, like, regular items in this game. They kind of like trick you <laughs> sometimes. So they can be like on the ground, like like these dew gems, or uh, alternatively, they can be like in an item pickup. Yeah, this is for sure the way. I guess I could go get that uh, turtle talisman while we're in the area, but I, you know what? Yeah, navigating torrent on these like these small rock formations is not the easiest thing. We managed all right, though. I feel like dying in stupid ways is just kind of part of the experience in these games. A somber four. Thanks, game. That's that's super good. Thank you. Um. Yeah, this feels right. There's another furnace golem over here. Ooh. Taking that much fall damage pretty much means, um... <laughs> you almost died! I think the max fall damage you can take is 40% of your health. And, um... Like, one meter past that is just, um... <laughs> a one-way ticket to... To hell. <laughs> so... Yeah, I, I briefly mentioned that. I A lot of people, like, just fully didn't understand fall damage uh, in this game. When the game came out, and... Big thanks to Illusory Wall on YouTube for making the video that, like, everyone used to, um, understand it a little better. I almost wonder if this will still work. So, I can't actually use this crossbow. But, if I equip it, does that allow me to zoom in? I think I might have to two-hand it. My guy is like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, I have big bolts on. That's probably why. Let's just try this. Oh, yep, just keep kicking. Thank you. Oh, sure. That used three bolts. Um, I guess I could have done that. Oh, not what I meant to do. One moment. There we go. Um, could have done that earlier with the other pot that we saw as well. It's, it's just, like, crafting materials. I'm pretty sure that one was, like, rope or something, like, equally insignificant. Um, what is this? Mushrooms, sure. <laughs> All that for some stinking mushrooms. In real life, mushrooms are great. Uh, I love a good, like, portobello with, with some, like, balsamic vinaigrette cooked up. That's delicious. But, um, yeah, here in Elden Ring, mushrooms are not the most useful. I, I, I guess they're used in crafting recipes, but, I mean, let's be real, most of the crafting recipes are just, like, full-on useless, um, and the ones that are not are, like, perfumes and stuff, I, I feel like. Yeah, this attack is always pretty intimidating 
If you just keep moving, I think it won't hit you. Oh, <laughs> it certainly did kill that, uh... Lightning Ram, though. Sorry, friend. You, you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, and I, I think there is a... Another Ghost Flame Dragon around here somewhere. Um... But yeah, the, uh... There's also, like, a Death Bird. Which we won't see unless it's nighttime. I think the Death Bird spawns, like, right here. Um... I want to say the map fragment is, like, pretty deep in this area. So th this was a quite a long detour. Um... Be dragon. Yep! Oh, good! Thank you, Torrent. Oh yeah, they finally patched the game so that, um... When you try to resummon Torrent after he dies, um... Is, is Torrent male? I have no idea. I, we're, we're gonna go that with Torrent is, uh... A-gender. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, after Torrent dies, um, it would default to selecting no. Um, I don't want to use a flask to resummon Torrent, which is pretty funny. And then if, if you got super used to, uh, like, summoning, trying to resummon Torrent and then clicking over one, then you would hit cancel over and over, which I did for the first few times, um, after they made that change. Um... Uh, so, like, I'm, I'm glad they made that change, but I don't think they actually changed it so that, like, Torrent respawns with full health. Like, if, if you damage Torrent and then you die, Torrent still has damage on him. I, I, I said I was going to treat Torrent as if there was no gender, but I just flagrantly didn't do that. Yeah, so here we go. We have the, this entire map region. I, I honestly feel like Dragon Peak should have been its own little map region, but whatever. Um, this will give us access to a pretty good talisman here as well. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess let's go here. So we can head over to the ancient dragon man and, and access the uh, the tower. Or tower. I meant to say mountain. I don't know why I said tower. There's a tower here. I guess we'll do that too while we're in the area. I think it's just like a max smithing stone upgrade not sure if it's somber or not i feel like it's it's a regular ancient dragon smithing stone that's, that's i'm gonna go with that guess but yeah I, I was expecting a whole lot more uh my first time through there didn't even mention these weird like earthworm guys with like hair no idea what's going on with that oh and here, here's the community's favorite npc He stubbed his toe. Actually, the noises he's making remind me I got a splinter under my pinky finger now. Uh, a couple months back. This is exactly the, the sounds I made. I like to imagine he's just like he's, he's been shouting like this for ages, and it's not just because you're here. Incredible voice lines. Oh, terror incarnate. I'm not skipping these. I'm gonna there take a drink. Is life in me yet. I will soon feast upon your heart. Mark my words, you too. Just incredible. Also, bonus points for Igon for being a summon that you do inside the boss fight, so it doesn't increase the boss's health. Same with Horn Scent, with Mesmer, actually. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, sure. So, that's his dialogue. Oh, thank you for scratching your ass, Dragon Man. I appreciate it. We'll do a little tower first, I guess, as I said. Is there more Gravebird armor here? Yeah. I the I have one wish, and it's that the Great Bird helmet didn't look so stupid. Um, I almost just caught myself saying the word derpy, which that I like it it hurt me deep in my core. That's that's one from when I was like, 
I don't know. I, I shouldn't say the age I was, but that yeah, a classic like 2013 like Minecraft YouTuber word. Horrible, really horrible. Um, just like truly just buried under the jail for using that term. But yeah, the grave bird helm looks like shit. <laughs> In essence, that's the message I was trying to convey. Let's see, is it somber? It's not, I was right. Fantastic. Okay, we teleport back to Igun. And we're gonna get to fight our counterpart here. Or I guess he's... <laughs> he's one step further along the line than we are. He's actually got the, um... Uh, he's actually got the transformation already, which we have not. Um, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be the Battle of Dragon Maw Spam. Might as well buff up here. Oh, hello, bird. Thank you. Oh, this sucks. Okay, this would be a really stupid way to die to the invader. It's interrupting all my attacks, damn it, bird! Just bite him. Oh my god, that does obscene damage. Probably a little overshadowed. Leveled for this. See, why don't the NPCs just roll it? Like, at the, I must just be like an expert of the timing on that now. Uh, considering I've been using it for this entire playthrough now. Um, but yeah, I know like exactly when that's gonna hit. The NPCs, apparently none of them do. Not even the guy who uses it. Um, yeah, that, that was a, now that I say that I'm gonna lose those runes uh, in this cave, probably, because that is the way that this goes. Oh, these guys have a lot of health. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should level up, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should. Hang on. Just one moment. Excuse me while I... <laughs> oh, my game was lagging there for some reason. Okay, so I need... Let's see, like 11... Wait, no, I can't count. 135. I need like 15k. Um, perfect. There we go. Probably just could have killed a few of those enemies and, and got the levels I needed, but... Um, I guess I needed like 13k something, that's fine. I think 53 is the arcane that I need um, to use the Bale spell. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to actually kill Bale for it to be relevant. Um, can I sneak up on you? You know what? I'm just gonna bite you. Do it again. And I'm still taking just so much damage from everything. Um, oh, sick. I think Executioner's Great Axe has, like, really high, um... Smithing Stone 1? Excuse you, game? I had to fight Moog to get here. What are you, what are you talking about, Smithing Stone 1? Um, what in the hell was I saying? Uh, I have no idea. That's fine. We'll just, we'll keep going. There's a magma worm somewhere in this cave as well. Um, which I don't know if I'm going to bother to fight him. Can you jump into that hole from here? I feel like no, right? They made it so it's like you just land on the edge there. Excuse you, I was monologuing. That's so rude. Is this the magma worm? No? Uh oh. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Hello, dudes. <laughs> Just got, like, arrows sticking through my back and my arm. Oh, I dodged that one. You're gonna regret that, buddy. Oh, god. I am the one who regrets. I am the one who regrets. No! Oh, I thought I rolled it in time. Turns out, no. I guess I am glad I did <laughs> take that level. No. I feel like I don't, I don't need to be fighting through this area. I could just run by it all. Especially considering the rewards are smithing stone ones.
game. I, I, I just said earlier uh, this stream that uh, I'm not sure why people are all complaining about the smithing stones, but like smithing stone one, really? I guess it, it is nice to have all of them so that, but like seriously, you can get this for like 200 runes each once you have the um, the bell bearing. So it's not not the most useful thing. Um, I think up here is actually the uh, magma worm. So how many dragon maws in the face can a magma worm take? Let's find out. They really do love this charge attack, don't they? The devs, they're just like, yeah, let's just make him do it like six times in a row. Oh, let's poke that guy's corpse before he gets back up. Okay, you done with your little... Your little walking fest, friend? Oh my god. Why would I repost when I can just do it again? Like, 6k? How much does the repost do? I get both! Yeah, the repost does way less. Oh, I did that a little early, huh? But the lunge that you get on the maw is incredible as well. Oh, he's walking. When you are walking. Oh, like one more poke. Oh, thank you. You walking again? He's walking again. All right. There we go. Thank you. I'll take the ancient stone. Very nice. I feel like there's an item somewhere around here. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And we're back here. If I had any spatial awareness, really, at all, I would have been able to figure this out. Show no fear. You know how I'll show no fear? I'll show you, game. Check that out. Backstepping off the ledge. <laughs> going backwards into danger. It, it would really be funny if that just killed you. And then there was a stake America. And you respawned. Like, that That would be incredible. I, I would be really proud of them. For that. Uh, but alas, no. It's not the case. And believe it or not, this is just the same guy that we fought before. Whoa! We got knocked out of... Oh, that's the roar. Never mind. Of course we got knocked out of the roar. Like, why even bother with the maw? Or the roar? Most of the time. Oh god. He does a lot of damage. Okay, that has good tracking. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought I would be able to strafe that. Game said no. No, you may not strafe that. In fact, you're gonna eat it. And and a double as well. I think actually I went and killed Theodorix, so I should be able to get Theodorix's magma as well. Uh, which is quite nice. Um yeah, let's buff up here. Not even gonna bother with the roar, I don't think. We're just gonna maw it out here. Where's my runes? Oh! There's my runes. Can I have them? Oh, I got them. Okay. Another! Oh my god, it's gonna be like... I mean, if I didn't let him heal, it would be less. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Does that have range? Not nearly as much. Okay. That's my move. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, don't just kill me while I'm charging this. Thank you. One more, and he is cooked. You gonna try to heal again? I don't know why they gave every NPC in this game, like, one flask. There was that... One, uh, NPC, like, towards the end of Dark Souls 3, where you, you gotta, um, 
Like, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, like, I, I don't remember exactly. Oh, yeah, it's once you, um... Once you kill Nameless King, like, Andre just gives you, like, a a note that's like, Come meet me in the Abyss Watchers Arena, and I'm gonna kick your ass! And so you go to the Abyss Watchers Arena, and, um... He has, like, as many heals as you do, I think. Uh, which is pretty goofy. Yeah, whatever, we'll just keep pumping Arcane. I feel like that's fine. Um, is this the right way? I think so. Um, we're, we're nearing our objective for the stream, which is the transformation. Um... But yeah, um, all, all, literally every NPC in this game gets a singular, just one, um, should I fight this guy? Eh, I probably will upgrade the, the dragon great katana as well, by the way, um, because I feel like that will be good. It'll also be very on theme, um, but for now we're going to keep using the spear. Um, as our actual sidearm, while we, uh... <laughs> My main weapon is just biting shit right now, to be honest. Um, it is much better than my <laughs> spear. Um, but I do also like the spear. Yeah, the view that you have of over other areas uh, in this DLC is, is just incredible, I gotta say. They do it just a really good job with that. Oh, yeah, upcoming boss that is just completely optional as well by the name of Senesax. Uh, he sucks um, and I don't want to fight him. Oh, I, I guess I will eventually but um, I certainly don't want to yet. Um, we're going to wait until like <laughs> the very end of the game and we're going to come back and whoop his ass. Uh, so I have written down what the name of the grace is. Uh, that I need to be at to complete the puzzle. Um, let's see. It says Jagged Peak Mountainside. Is this the one? No. Foot of the Jagged Peak. So we keep it on going. Um, and of course, uh, I have to piss. <laughs> right as I, I get here to this cool-ass double dragon fight. They're fighting each other, actually, which is quite cool. Um, it would be funny if these, like, rock assets did damage to you, but instead they're, they're just made of styrofoam, I guess, and you can just nudge them around. Uh, yeah, another optional encounter, um, I guess. We do want to come back and do that so that we get to progress Igon's questline, actually. So it is uh, certainly worth doing. It's, it's not like some of the optional encounters in this game, that it's just like, there's literally no reason to do this. Um, it is certainly worth doing. Um, yeah, I, I really do need to piss. I, I didn't want to take a break this close to the end of the stream, but I think I'm gonna. Damn it. Alright, one moment.
All right, and we're back. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I have two choices. Either, like, don't drink as much water and um, just lose my voice, like, the entire stream. Or drink water and have to take a break <laughs> numerous times. My god. Thank you, Torrent. Appreciate your services. Oh, that didn't kill Torrent? It very nearly did, judging from how much health he had after that. My god. I think I was I was just lying when I said I would I would consider Torrent to not have a gender. It's it's tough once once you consider it in your head. Oh, this fuckface. Okay, yeah. Oh, we're just ignoring you. This is Senesex. From all the bloodstains on the ground, you can um Well you can judge for yourself, uh, this guy, but my main problem with him is he's a lightning dragon that is standing in water, and so all of his moves have an, a huge area of effect. Um, and he also takes like very little damage. The ancient dragons in general are annoying to fight, because they have a weak spot on their head, which is usually like a mile in the air. Um, is this the grace? I feel like yes. Jagged Peak Mountainside. So let's take a look at the painting. Um, it should be somewhere in my recesses here. Yeah, there we go. So you, it's in the direction of the tree from here. Um, I can't see shit. Uh, yeah, I guess the tree is that way. Um, I know that it's something relating to, like, a spirit spring that we're supposed to use to get there. I, I don't know if it's down this path or not. I think this is just an item pickup. Yeah. Cookbook. Sure, I think that's, like, the spears that Igon uses or, or something. Let's see. Oh, dragon communion flesh. Sure. Igon's just like, here, here's how you can cook up some flesh. Well, thank you, Igon. Um, ah, I believe this is the Spirit's Spring. So I think... I'm just gonna jump... There we go. Um, I think it's like off in another direction. If I go over here... Ah, yes. This feels right. Um... Oh yeah, there's the chair. Oh, can I make that jump? Thank you. Um... But... Alright, well that sucked. It seems like the stream died literally right in my... that gives extra damage to the Dragon Communion spells, which is just the bite. Um... Yeah, that, that was annoying. Uh, at least I got a notification on the PlayStation that it died this time. But yeah, we uh, we made it uh, up here to the item that we wanted to have, so our, our dragon loadout actually is appropriate now. We're not just some naked guy. Um, an glitchy and frames are everywhere. That, that would feel pretty bad. Um, but I guess we'll just run... Can I even make it up that... Little barrier? I don't think so. I was gonna say we're gonna run up to the next uh, grace, but instead I'll <laughs> nearly die trying to get a broken rune. Um, yeah, great progress uh, through the um, Shadow of the Earth Tree today. Um, if only it wasn't for my internet. <laughs> Just croaking the stream over and over. Um, I, I mean, if this keeps happening, I might not even bother to stream uh, so much more, because it's just like, what's the point? Oh, good. Very good. You know what? On that note, <laughs> we're going to call the stream there. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that, that was a goofy little death. But yeah, yeah uh, I'll, I'll try to stream again in, in the next couple days. Um, 
But yeah, thanks for coming out and catching the stream. I'll see you next time. Take care.